Hi guys, this is Dr. Ie. Today we're going to go ahead and learn to make our own logo uh, into a 3D logo, office decal that you can put on in front of your office. Something like this. Let's go and take a look. Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and create uh, our own decal, company decal, Dr. E or whatever decal, you'll need an SVG file of your logo. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I'll have another video on it or I'll have a link to it uh, in this video. If you do have an SVG file, it's pretty easy to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, open up a new design in Autodesk Fusion 360. We're gonna go ahead and create uh, like a rectangular shape. So the logo can be basically mounted on anything using double-sided tape. Okay, let's just start a new design. So let's go ahead and start a new design. And we're gonna go ahead and create on the X, X axis. We're gonna go ahead and create a box. All right, go ahead and measure out how long it's gonna be. I'm gonna do it on the X axis here. And for my company decal, I measured 300 millimeters. I need to do it exactly 300 millimeters so it'll cover over the previous owner's logo. So I'm gonna do 300. Now you can adjust these values later. And also I'm gonna do a length of around 100. So I'll have a, some, something like that right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and enter and I'm gonna do one millimeter because this is just so I can put double-sided tape and then the logo is gonna go on top of it or you can also imprint the logo inwards all right that's for another session if you guys want that leave in the comment section below and I'll have another video on that um so I'm gonna go ahead and insert my SVG file of Dr. E and I'm gonna go ahead and click there and you're gonna see the logo you can go ahead and rotate this using this right here and I'm gonna make it so it fits the rectangle as big as possible Make sure you get it 90 you can go ahead and click on this and drag it and you can see it's a little too big so I'm gonna go ahead and size it and I'm gonna just make it so laterally it fits the whole thing because I'm just using the bottom rectangle for my double-sided tape but I don't really need a lot of space now I can't really dial it down so you can go ahead and change this number also and I'm gonna do 0 0.01 0.02 okay 0.0 I'm gonna do 1.015 that looks very good that's just, just barely on there all right and next I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and extrude this upward so I'm gonna go ahead and just hit solid create extrude go ahead and select uh, the stuff you want to extrude I'm gonna go ahead and extrude it up about 20 millimeters it's gonna stick out yeah all right so I got my logo there now you can see that I don't need the bottom space for anything you can put some stuff in there I guess um, but I think I'm just gonna leave the logo there click on the original rectangle hit right click and edit feature and I can go ahead and readjust this, so make it a little bit smaller. Let's try 55, and boom! I'm looking from the top, I've got perfect spacing. Um, actually, I need a little bit more space for the dot there. I might be able to print it, but I'm not going to take the chance. Let me see. Okay, so you can go ahead and look at it. Oh, actually, it should be fine. It's, it's just like right on the edge. No, no. So that might fall through, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna make the rectangle a tiny bit longer. All right, there's my new company decal for my office front door. Let's go ahead and print it out and see how it looks. And then to put it in your slicer, you'll have to export it as an STL file. So I'm gonna go ahead and export it into my directory. Export. And this should take like, maybe like 20 seconds here. All right, it's done. Um, let's go ahead and put it in the slicer. I like using Prusa slicer because I have a Prusa printer, obviously here. It's a it's a good slicer. You can also use it for like other printers. Like I use it for my Ender. Uh, let's go ahead and import STL, and let's go ahead and import the company decal. Oh, it's gonna fit. Uh, let me go ahead and make it sideways. Unfortunately, this is not gonna fit. Oh my god. 
So I'm, I'm gonna be able to print this if I cut off, you see that? If I cut off the ends here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go back to Autodesk, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off this section here on the ends. I don't really need it anyway. Hi guys, so in order to cut some of this ex extra section off so I can fit in my printer, what you're gonna do is go ahead and select uh, the right plane and the plane, the main plane, all right? Just those two planes. And you do right click, move copy. And you're gonna go ahead and use this dial to make it, uh, make the angle match. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and edit um, feature and move face. Let's actually go ahead and move this all the way here. And you can see I can actually still do the different angle. Oh, there we go. So change the Z angle here. So I'm gonna do negative five until uh, maybe negative, negative 10. Yep, maybe negative eight. And now I'm gonna be able to squeeze this all the way uh, to make a little bit more room. And I think this is gonna be like 8.5. Yep, let's try negative one. There we go. I'm just gonna squeeze this in. Real close, because we don't have a lot of space. So I've got that working. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and go on this side and go ahead and cut this. So I'm gonna angle this and choose this face, hit shift and hit, hit, choose the top. And I'm gonna do edit, uh, uh, sorry, move copy. All right, I'm gonna move it a little bit closer. Now let's go ahead and change the angle. Maybe negative four. Three, three looks pretty good. Squeeze this in. Let me get barely in there and hit enter. And boom. Um, so I shortened that end, short that end. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shorten the top over here. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and zoom in, and I'm gonna select the down and the flat surface. And I'm gonna go ahead and move and copy. This way I can do it just the way I want to. Gonna actually go ahead and match the other side over here. It's pretty good actually. Oh, and we've gotta we gotta not forget uh, this guy here. The dot needs a little bit more space. So I'm gonna actually have to let me select it again. Move. I'm just gonna get it just below the dot. That should be fine. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut the top off so it's just barely fits. So I'm also gonna go ahead and select the top, the two surfaces, right click, move. Let's turn this around. And I'm gonna go ahead and match it right there to the corner. Hit okay. And look at that. We got the load just fitting, so we don't have to worry about so much about uh, not fitting, this is gonna barely fit. I'm gonna hit save. And export. And V2. Dr. E Company Deckle V2. So hopefully this will fit. Actually, this is the first time I've actually had to cut um, just to fit the 3D printer. Obviously, if you use a bigger 3D printer, you don't have to do this. I have the Ender 6, but it's under repair. So once I get that fixed, I'm gonna be able to print out much larger stuff. So sometimes the printer size is limiting somewhat. Okay, this is complete. Let's go ahead and open up Perusa Slicer and slice this again. Import SD hell, Doctor Company Deckle. And I'm crossing my fingers, it fits just in time. Yes, ooh, I don't know. Does it fit? Okay, I think I can fit. I can barely fit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got a lot of Look at that. If you see green, that means you're good to go. My logo fit just perfect. Look at that. So it goes in one go. Also, I'm gonna do infill of 5% because this is just a decal. I don't really need to have it printed perfect. And for large objects like this, I do suggest using a brim. Oops, sorry, you don't need a brim. 
Um, if, if the letters were by itself, then I would need a brim, but in this case, I don't need a brim because I got a, like a brim thing on the back. This way the letters stay together and boom, I'm ready to go. I'm using default settings for 0.2 millimeters. And let's go ahead and export company decal V2. Uh, save it into my SD card, print it out, and let's see what happens. The logo actually came out pretty good. I'm actually pretty satisfied. I think this is a great way you can custom print your logo. I'll make it into a 3D logo. It really makes your logo come alive. And finally, here's my office logo. I'll finish up nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and try printing more cool stuff for my office. I'm definitely gonna have more videos on that. Have a great day, like, subscribe, and bye.